Hi guys, just a, a brief demonstration video today to show you how to make uh, a coffee using your Nespresso virtual machine. Now I decided to do this video because I unboxed this yesterday, I recorded a video with me unboxing it and reviewing it, but when we tried to make the coffee it did take me by surprise just how long it takes for the water to come out with this machine. So I thought I'd do a separate video just to show you how to make the coffee using this machine because it is different to the original one. So the first thing you need to know is that this machine has been designed really for use with cold milk. So that's why most of the virtual machines, they don't come with an Aeroccino. You can buy, I think there is a couple of models available with an Aeroccino and you can buy an Aeroccino separately, but really they're just designed to be used either to drink it black if you like your coffee black or just with cold milk as you would a standard coffee. The second thing you need to know <clears throat> is that unlike the other original machines which have a button on the side for a lungo and a, bu a button on the side for an espresso the different sizes this machine just has one button on the top that you press and the reason for that is that the the capsules you get the virtual capsules they actually have if you can see a barcode system around and when you put it in your machine it actually tells it what size to make a certain brew so this one is a 230 mil cup size um, so when I put it in it will recognize that and it will send me 230 mil of water through the machine so that's why there's only one button so don't be afraid by that it will do it correctly so the first thing we need to do is open up the machines T to do that well, we've got to turn it on first, let's turn it on. So it's just warming up now. You just open up the machine by pressing that button there, pushing it upwards, and you just place your capsule in with the round side down. To shut it, we just press this button downwards, and don't be afraid by any noise, noises it makes. It does make quite a loud noise when it pierces the top of this film lid here. Um, it's quite loud but it's just doing its job, you listen. So that is really now ready to go, all we have to do, <clears throat> as long as you've got enough water in your container, all we have to do is press the button. Now, they do take a little bit of time to come through because like I say, on the old machines, the Lungo, the, the size of that was 110mm, this is over double that, so don't be surprised by the length of time it takes. I'm just going to let it run. The video may be a little bit boring for a few seconds, um, but I'm going to let it run um, full speed, natural speed, just so you can see how long it takes in case you may be thinking of buying one of these and you want to know how long it takes. Now this is the middle range one, it goes way up to a 414mm, but this is a 230mm, so I'll press go now and you can see what happens. Like I say, don't be surprised by the fact that it takes a bit of a while for the water to start coming out. You can hear the centrifuge in there, can't you? The technology going to work. So that's coming to a finish now. And we're done. As you can see, that's a really nice size cup of coffee. Um, the one thing I noticed when I bought this machine yesterday, 
is that they're so hot as well, really hot coffee. Um, so it's just designed to just be used with cold milk. As you can see, it's black in here. There's no milk underneath that crema. I don't know if you can see that. No milk under the crema. We'll just put a bit of milk in because that's what my wife wants. So Give it a little bit of a stir. And you're ready to drink. Hope you've enjoyed that video. Uh